Wow, what a what a high camera. <laughs> yeah. Did you God, smoke something before walking yeah. in here, bud? Your eyes are red. <laughs> Cheers, fellas. Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome to the Feature 52 podcast. It's us four sixths of Feature 52 here. Yes, we were in the band that just played. That's uh, delightful. Yeah, that's I know, really right? good. Okay. Yeah, it's nice to be in a band. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just introduced the boys to my favorite drink called an Angry Balls. It's a shot of fireball with uh, washed down with an Angry Orchard. Yeah, that's perfect for the fall coming up. Yeah, that's, it's great, right? That was really tasty. I was expecting that to be I know. not as good. Yeah. 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 Somebody, I, somebody called it something else um, to me before once. I might ago. have other names. Yeah. I got that name from Applebee's. Shout out Applebee's. Oh, Applebee's. Saw that on the menu once, and I was like, I'll have an Angry Balls. Didn't we do a whole we... Applebee's bit like on one of the first yeah, episodes? Yeah, it was, it was the episode with Gabby, because yeah. we were talking about Dollaritas. Dollaritas. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah. out yeah. Applebee's. Sponsor us. Yeah, yeah. They still haven't reached out to us. <laughs> I sent him I sent an email in my mind like way long ago. In your mind? <laughs> yeah. Those pieces of shit, they didn't answer back? Dang. I know. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to manifest it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what that's all about. Yeah, so this this uh, episode's going to be a bunch of hijinks, because it's just us. Yeah, and this we're all hijinks. Yeah, so Completely I, new we've, format. We've got I'm, no one to hold us accountable today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the straight male here, and that's not a good thing. He's but, the straight uh, male. <laughs> like, you know, the straight male character, the one who's supposed to, like, bring everything down to reality. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Oh, that's not, you. Not, like, like, not, not like, gay, I'm also like, straight and male? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Prove it. No. Uh, so I'm, <laughs> no, don't I'm, do that. <laughs> I'm Fez, and today we've got Elephant King, and we've got Michael and Nick. <laughs> I I, that's awful. I don't want to be the Elephant King. That's a lot of responsibility, man. Okay, I'm Fez, and today we've got the band Elephant King, which includes I like Nick, Michael, and... <clears throat> <clears throat> that's me. Yeah. This is a weird format. Yeah. We're so used to just being like, okay, so it's like no one hosting. Yeah, right? there's, yeah. There's, <laughs> there is no host I mean, today. I, I, I can host if you guys want me to. You're gonna interview yeah, ask yourself? yourself questions. Yeah. yeah. Not only are we in a different room today, but we're also a completely different yeah. format of the real, podcast. Real, real lax today. Yeah. Real we lax. should. So disclaimer: obviously, we're all in feature fifty two. Um, for you guys listening and watching, um. And we were like, why don't we put ourselves on this month? Because it's a really tight month, and just why not? So, yeah, full disclosure, but uh, we're, we run this shit, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, we thought we'd change up the location. So today we're in uh, the broom closet at our local Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we're at Ikea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, got, we should try doing that wow. one day. It's just like, just like lug in all the equipment into Ikea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like really quick, like off of our phones. Like we're all just recording into we could. our phones. Yeah, we could do that. And then like until they stop us, we just move to a different room. <laughs> okay, now we're in the kitchen section. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, honestly, that's, that's yeah. That'd be, but yeah, it's a really tight month for us on schedules because September, the first half of September, our bassist Michael Westlake, yeah. Westlake, Mike yeah. West, Westlake baby, is Michael going, James West, going to Europe. Dennis, Michael, Mike is. <laughs> would you let me finish my <laughs> sentence? <laughs> <laughs> Continue. I'm sorry. Again, I'm no, try- no, no, no. Nobody's here. hosting, so I'm trying to like okay. take, take, right. the take, reins. take the reins, baby. Michael is going to Europe Ooh. with his cover band for two weeks in September, and then he comes back. And the the day after you come back, the day, of. The day, uh, the day of. Well, yeah, I come back on the 13th, and then we have a show here in Vegas on the 14th. Yeah, and then we leave on the 13th in the morning. Or the, I'm sorry, yeah, the, the 16th. We go back in time. We leave on the 16th. <laughs> in the morning. Yes, yeah, in yeah, the morning. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Elephant King is going on tour for the second two weeks of Woo! September, yeah. which means we have to get really ahead on yeah. recording we had this to ca- show. <laughs> we had to catch up and get ahead. Oh, we had to catch up, get current, and get ahead. Yeah. So yeah. You guys are a September artist, right? Yeah. We are yeah. a September artist. Currently August. We're, are we the first September Argus? Ar, 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 Argus? Ar, <laughs> yes. Arduous? Artist being recorded? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We are the first of four, and we also have two October artists that we're recording. Yeah. Oh, uh, one. We're, one. And it's far. August twentieth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is it? Happy yes. eight twenty, guys. We're, happy eight twenty. Which you can uh, you can always find out when these videos were recorded because I started updating the descriptions uh, to have the the recording date. Oh, like, oh. Yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. It's yeah. it's something. Um, it's not actually in the description, but YouTube has like a little 
section where it's like, mm. what language is this? When was this recorded? Oh, okay. What location <laughs> was it was recorded? I thought you were yeah. putting that in the what language is this? Say that. August 20th. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a button um, that says normalize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you so you can be normal. Yeah. Right? Everyone, how wonderful weather we're having. Guys, comment down below if <laughs> if there was a normalize button to spade you like a Joe Schmo, if you would hit it. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> well, hit that bell. <laughs> hit that yeah. bell. Hit the bell down below. And also, if you have a drum kit at home, hit the bell on the ride. Yeah, so... Uh, I, I'm feeling like I should start asking some questions because despite being in Feature 52, um, especially you, Fez, I feel like I know absolutely nothing about you. So uh, <laughs> when did you start playing music? Well, first of all, my name is... <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> that's your name. Yeah. Oh, so, sorry. <clears throat> when did you start playing <clears throat> music? Um, I started playing guitar <laughs> at 13, uh, but I, I was always like singing along to stuff in, you know, when I was like five, six, really young, you know what mm. I mean? I tell everyone this story, but my dad used to be a, a radio DJ, and he would bring me into the station with him. Like, when I was wicked young, like, I don't even remember, like, three oh. or four. Like, that was him babysitting me. Was Here like, in town? No, no, no. Okay. So I'm, fr um, I'm from Saipan, which is next to Guam. It's a yeah, little okay. island, mm -hmm. the Pacific. So he's a radio DJ there. He, he was, yeah. He was for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, he would, yeah, he would take me into the station with him. And I, I feel like that's where my, like, taste came from. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Radio friendly, mm -hmm. whatever, pop, rock, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. It was like a variety station. Yeah. So uh, besides singing, though, guitar was your first? Yeah. Get, well, actually, my first instrument was harmonica mm. um, for like a year or two before Holy I even. shit. Before you I never even, told me that. A but, yeah. year or two? Damn. Yeah, yeah. I think it was like two years. <laughs> Damn. Um, that's a long time. Yeah, it's a long Did time. Did you take at, lessons? Harmonica? No, no. I just picked it up. Okay. I picked it up because there was a music store and like I, like, I wanted something like music you know like a little trinket or something like that yeah. and then i picked up a harmonica and then i started getting really into it and then i moved here <laughs> I, I i moved here and i was like a you know decent player you know what i mean i mean like when's the last time you met a harmonica player yeah yeah every harmonica player is gonna be good you yeah, know what i mean yeah. so like i don't know Played how it on a curve i was yeah i was yeah i was probably decent i can't fucking remember uh can you still shred or what no, no. i i haven't touched one like since like i picked up guitar <laughs> and i was still shred <laughs> I, I i picked up guitar and like just stopped i have well, a, incorporate i have a that. yeah, yeah i have a set King of style but, i have a set of mm. harmonicas if you want to make the feature 52 um like official <laughs> intro music. make the little intro oh, like a jingle oh, oh yeah yeah we need a stinger we do oh. need we do need something man i, I never I thought like, of that yeah, yeah like uh I was watching um, the Korean episode yeah. just came out, the live session, and there's like 15 seconds of the like the chromatic aberration on the logo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? Nick's calling me out. Holy shit. And, someone and, read his fucking thesaurus. And, and I'm today. like, and you're I was not like, that oh. impressive. I know exactly the effects that you're using. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Motherfucker. Don't, don't act like you all special. No, I actually just knew that because you told me. <laughs> but, um, oh, is that an effect? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's I like the, 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 like, it makes Color the logo way. It is actually like, rather impressive. Right? It like it I pulls it. it pulls the reds, greens, and blues and kind of separates them. Yeah, mm, and yeah, it makes it look wavy. It's really cool. Oh, it's, it's a sick effect. But yeah. I I put on that episode and I turned up the volume and I was like, is there is there anything playing? And yeah, then it was like 15 seconds in is when things started. I was like, we should we should have a stinger. I mean, usually for live sessions and stuff, I'll. I'll, or even the podcast, I'll put in the like yeah. the little dicking around before, but okay. that one there was really nothing. Um, so yeah, it's it really case be, by case with that, but yeah. we, we could definitely do that. That'd be cool. cool. Feature 52, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it goes in. Something. Yeah. I was thinking it'd be cool to maybe have a, a studio session where it's just all of us, uh, like fucking like a 15 second tops, like stinger. And we just rattle off a ton of them. Mm. Make mm. like like fifty of fifty two of them. Hey. Let's make fifty two <laughs> of them, and we just pick a random one to use each each episode. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like that. Yeah. I like that idea. So, Nick, what, you, did you play drums first? Right. Yeah, yeah. Drums are, are my main instrument. It was the first. Actually, yes, I did. I did start with drums, but um, I took maybe a, a month or uh, maybe two months of guitar lessons. Yeah. I was I was really young, um, and the, so my mom bought a drum set for herself to learn drums. I I think it was a gift for her. Uh, I I gotta ask her honestly where she got the kit from, but um, 
when I was a baby, she got a kit. She wanted to learn the drums. And uh, so I always grew up with a kit in the house. But when I was maybe five or six, she taught me my first beat, you know, just like the basic rock beat. The boom, catch, boom, catch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, around that time, I started taking guitar lessons at the community center for like a month or two. And I remember so vividly, like I walked out of a lesson once and um, my teacher was like, yeah, you're getting pretty good at these songs. It was just like, you know, like Mary had a little lamb, shit like that. And he was like, you're getting pretty good at these songs. You should probably do a, we got a recital coming up. Do you want to be in it? And I was like, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Playing in front of people? Like, what is that? And uh, I... I let I held my tears, but I walked out of there, and as soon as my I got in the car with my mom, I just started bawling. I was like, I don't want to be in a recital. I, I don't want to play in front of people. That's like the scariest thing ever. Mm. And then I that was my last guitar lesson. I was how, like, I never want to play guitar. How old were you that day? Maybe I mean I was young, like mm. four or five. Damn, like yeah, I was yeah. really young. Yeah, um, see, I remember like when uh, me and you first started hanging out. I had you come over one day, and we were just gonna make something just from scratch. And I had the whole guitar set up because I was like convinced that like, that was like your main instrument Oh yeah, because that's what you did with like your whole table setup when you did zebra force solo stuff. Right. Yeah. So I, I, and then I was like, Oh, I got the guitar here. If you want to play something, that's like your instrument. Right. And you were like, what? No, yeah, I, I was like, absolutely <laughs> yeah. not. <Yeah. laughs> not a guitar player. Yeah. I play guitar, but I'm not a guitarist. Mm. Um, I, so shortly after that, uh, I started, playing the drums every once in a while like just sitting down and playing whatever my mom at the time was dating um an, an audio engineer and um like musician tour manager like kind of all you know worked in the industry kind of guy and um so we had a ton of gear at the house michael remembers yeah you know, I, was, I was buds with him back then and um so we just kind of always had shit in the house to play with and uh, I would jam with him, uh, my mom's boyfriend, and um, it, eventually I was like, I, I, I want to like try to learn drums. But that wasn't until I was 13. That was around the time I met Michael. Um, Which at, you had been playing bass already? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I would say I started like wanting to be a musician at, at around 13, despite having a few experiences of like trying to get into it at a younger age. So here's an unrelated question. What made you guys make, like want to make the switch to adding a bass player? Were you guys set on being a duo and then you decided, okay, we changed our mind. We should get a bass player. Or was it like you were open to it and then you happened to Michael happened to want to do it as well? I th we I always wanted one. Yeah, yeah. Same. yeah me personally. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just waiting. So for a right. du the duo was just like out of necessity. Yeah, it was out of necessity. I mm. mean, it had that charm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, my original idea for Elephant King um, was like, it's, you know, like me and like a core group of friends, but also like people just hop on whenever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like Queens of the Stone Ages mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which it kind of is, it kind of isn't w w Queens of Stone Age. Um, but Elephant King, that's definitely something I want to do is just mm -hmm. have i mean we know so many people mm -hmm. that i want to have on like our music you know what i mean yeah. obviously we got to get more of our music out first mm -hmm. um so yeah i mean but michael has been a blessing yeah i i think it was because fez and i i think it's just circumstantial that we were mm -hmm. a duo mm -hmm. yeah at first yeah because there just wasn't a bass player available yeah like easy available and, the and, right one and yeah, we're, yeah, yeah that too we're, i'll admit we're picky um and be. we we've yeah. been fez and i've been playing together for a long time before yeah. elephant king mm -hmm. and we had a group previously and we jammed for you know off and on for probably like two years mm -hmm. yeah. in between our previous band and yeah. elephant king yeah yeah um because then you know there was a covid thing and we weren't really able to like yeah. start a band mm -hmm. and start playing shows or whatever so yeah um, when we got together for Elephant King, we said, all right, this is it. Like, let's 
let's take this all the way and mm-hmm. let's be very like as professional as we can be about it and as precise and uh, specific yeah. about what we want. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so far it's working out pretty well. Mm-hmm. And yeah. we, we just, we rock the duo. We tried out a lot of bass players and a lot of them are really good yeah. and uh, deserve to be in really good groups. But we felt like just wasn't the right just, chemistry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And we had jammed with Michael like Previously, ye- years yeah. ago. Yeah. 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 Uh, Tail end of our last band. Yeah. And I, I knew that Michael was a great bass player and I knew that I really mm-hmm. liked playing with Michael mm-hmm. because I've known him since I was 13 mm-hmm. But uh, just circumstances always led to us being in different groups, different like, different parts of the city, even like mm-hmm, as teenagers yeah. and stuff. So it's mm-hmm. like we we're never in a group. And um, even when Elephant King started, he was like, yeah, just can't I can't really commit the time right mm-hmm. now. So we kind of always had him in the back of our minds while we were trying other people out, admittedly. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, Michael, what do, what do you feel like you get out of playing with these guys that you might not with with other people? What, well, what interests you about playing in, in Elephant King? As of yeah. right now, the, my main draw is playing in an original band because I've been playing in a cover band now for about two years and it's been like my main job for about almost a year now. Um, so playing in an original group, like making music that the one big thing that the group wants to make, that's a huge deal for me. Like not trying to tick boxes, not trying to please anyone else. It's just making art for the sake of creation. Mm-hmm. Right. That's like a huge draw for me. And that's why I always wanted to play with the guys, but with, you know, the other band and at the, at other points in my life, you know, work as well, there was just no space. Um, but nowadays it's, it's, it's nice to be a part of a, a project, especially with good friends like that. I've, I've, <clears throat> Like I've known Nick for now for like fucking yeah, twelve years yeah. or something. Like yeah. I I don't know. May, maybe you met when you were thirteen. You said yeah. So probably about like coming up on a decade. I think I met you when uh, I was over 12. a decade. Yeah, I met you. I'm I met now. you before I met him, and I've known him for ten years. So oh, it's been shit. longer. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I met you before I was thirteen then, because I'm twenty one. When did you yeah. start playing music, Mike? When did I start playing music? Shit. Um, I think I was in the fifth grade. What? How old are you in the fifth grade? <laughs> like uh, ten. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Uh, my dad. My dad like plays guitar. He's not like a professional musician by any means, but he he. It's a great hobby for him. He loves like classic rock and that sort of vibe. So he always would have me listen to that sort of stuff, and um, he would always be noodling and stuff. And uh, so I just kind of followed his footsteps, started playing guitar, and um went out to I did a few lessons and stuff and I remember specifically my teacher he like would give me tapes mm. like as to cassette to use tapes as, yeah yeah That's cassette awesome. tapes to use as like like not music like he'd to record, record yourself no like he'd have practice material oh on like the a tapes. play along <laughs> oh so, yeah yeah okay. and these were specific to that instructor yeah oh okay yeah, so yeah. he made in, individual ones for you That's yeah cool. it was That's interesting cool. I, yeah. at the time I didn't really it's like your homework give a shit yeah yeah but like honestly that's pretty cool yeah like yeah you know that's a good so, idea especially if you know the person who's giving you the yeah they can tell you like do it like this like yeah you know. yeah but i don't know i never really gelled with guitar too well um so i was kind of fading away from playing it um but then my dad took me to see a rush concert we saw uh their snakes and arrows tour in 2008 and i remember leaving the venue and telling my dad like i want to be getty lee i want to play bass right so a couple days later, he bought me a little Fender Squire mm-hmm. and just started looking up Rush tabs. And from there, just playing and playing and playing. And then got into LVA through my cousins. They told me about it and got into jazz and that whole sort of area of music. And then from there, it's just fully expanding. Mm-hmm. Like my, what I listen to and what I like to play. Um, yeah, that, that that's how I started. When, when did you meet Space Boy? Freshman 20, year in high school. 2012, yeah. You guys have been, wow, yeah. Like we just got to ten years, basically. Yeah. With August, oh, yeah. so fresh. You guys go to dinner. Well, before freshman because year. Dinner. jazz camp was like jazz camp. Yeah, yeah. That was about this time. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. we okay. we rode the same bus. We lived. Like, yeah, in the that's same really district. what what it was like, uh, especially with Jake Ford riding the same bus in the beginning too, because he was my friend from middle school, so I knew him when we went to LVA, and then yeah, just riding the bus home we. That's yeah. when we got to so know you so you basically just crossed the ten year mark, and that's freshman year. And I remember you were in eighth grade 
when we were in our our band with like the music school that we were in mm -hmm. yeah um, so ensemble arts academy <laughs> and uh that so, so 11 years might have i think I think it was like the summer before eighth grade for you Maybe. that okay. I met you. So yeah, like eleven years. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. Crazy. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know it's it's been that long. It doesn't feel like that long. Right? Yeah. Not yeah. at all. Yeah. Time flies. It does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've always I've always wanted to be in a band with you, man. I'm glad you're part of Elephant King. Dude. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's yeah. I had the, me too. Yeah, I yeah. had the privilege of live mixing your guys' first show with michael at recycle propaganda oh yeah and I was like, that's right i was like well you know live mixing the vocals but yeah i was like yeah this is because i had seen you guys a bunch of times before that i was like okay yeah this is really taking it to the next level yeah yeah, yeah it feels yeah. good and especially like seeing you guys so many times and like taking pictures for you guys and all that sort of stuff like do like doing concert photography and stuff and yeah. then now playing like it was a huge step and it, it just mm -hmm. felt really good so. yeah it feels it feels really good yeah, yeah, I, I like it's definitely the next level. I think yeah. to, to have yeah. another melodic instrument like that was yeah, yeah something I always noticed about seeing you guys as a duo was like you would start, you guys would reach like a climactic point of a song, you would start shredding, mm. and then it would it wouldn't it would lack like that yeah the low body yeah because yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're shredding and you're shredding so it sounds good but it's like lacking yeah. that fullness yeah yeah Absolutely. there's only too much so much a duo can do especially yeah. me like I don't do any like the the octave. If I can make a recommendation, you guys should check out uh, uh, Jamie Pete and uh, forget the other guy's name. But if you look up Jamie Pete, the keyboardist, yeah, the uh, Jamie Pete's the drummer. Yeah, yeah, but the yeah, that, the keyboardist. Yeah, they're they're sweet. That rooftop think. session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I there's think. there's a bunch of them. Yeah. It's a keyboardist and a drummer. I know what you're talking about. And yeah. they're like yeah, they're Jamie easily P -P the best duo I've ever heard. They mm -hmm. they fucking they shred and it's all improv improvised. Yeah. Oh no way. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. a lot more like jazz on the jazz side, yeah. like yeah. that kind of music. But, but they like they're not like your usual like free jazz guys where they just like it's improvised, so we're just gonna play whatever. Like they actually play grooves. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 They're really good. I've yeah. been I've been wanting to I, he like came Jamie Pete video came up on my like recommended on YouTube lately and I've been wanting to just sit down and really like consume more of his stuff because he's He's it's a, a rabbit hole. incredible drummer, man. Oh my god, he's he's one of the best drummers I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mike, how did you get into photography? Photography, uh, it was a pretty short story, really. Like, I just always liked, just like on my phone taking pictures. Or we used to film stupid movies yeah. in high school, mm -hmm. and I always kind of wanted to be the guy filming, right? Mm -hmm. Just because I don't know, I, I enjoyed just capturing it and then going through and editing it. Um, but I never really spoke of like an interest to do photography to anyone like like legitimate photography and then in 2019 my grandma just bought me a little nikon dslr and like out of the blue i never asked for it or anything but uh just kind of started taking pictures of shit around the house basically i was like oh this is cool and then transitioned into i don't really know portraits. when i started yeah i don't know when i started doing portraits like I was asking you two for some of my album covers. Those were some of the first ones, but I think you had done a few before that. Yeah, it was. It was just kind of like I, I'm all I'm v entirely self taught with that sort of thing. It was just like pick it up and you know mess around and mm -hmm. see what I like to do, and then I kind of you know found my niches, and then we we would host a lot of shows at Bull House, so that was like a perfect opportunity. Like, all right, we're having shows. Let's capture it. Let's take yeah. pictures. You know, so that kind of sparked the concert photography sort of side of things. But yeah, it was just like an unpropped and birthday gift basically. And then that kind of started this whole journey. Yeah. I this, think, yeah, go, no, ahead. go ahead. Well, I was, so anyways, gonna, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was going to ask sort of unrelated question. If you have, Oh yeah, in, in it, it is kind of related. I was just going to say it's, it's awesome how fucking good you got since 2019. Oh, it's only thanks. been a couple of years. Yeah. It like, seems to be in high demand too. That's like, well, I think why you're getting so much better at it is because people are constantly asking you, like, yeah. can you take pictures? And also, yeah. this, the Future yeah, 52 now, has yeah. been like, I have not worked this, is this much ever. In all of our, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, it, I love that. Um, yes. I don't know. Like, for me with visual art, like, I never could draw, I could never paint. Yeah. I always have a shaky hand, you know, so I, but I always wanted to do something visual like where mm -hmm. i'm doing the audio art so i want to like you know it's audible multimedia. art so i want to do something visual i want to do a completely different medium yeah mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah so that's what i was going to ask like what are the similarities and differences b between photography and music like what yeah. are the pros and cons that's a great question yeah. so 
like with with photography for me at least the great thing is being able to capture other people right there there's like a, a beauty of seeing other people's art and what they want to be or create right with like it could be like with gabby's um eu uh, elevated undergrounds uh, yeah. uh single covers that was yeah. a lot of fun like capturing just her vision she oh, has yeah. an idea that she brings yeah and her and, moment like, yeah. yeah or like do a concert photography yeah. like you're seeing other people like in the zone like and you're capturing that light forever, right? Mm-hmm. Like kind of an archival sort of thing for me that I really enjoy. That's something you can always go back to and like, oh, yeah, I remember this day. Mm-hmm. Like, Yeah, mm. the um, beauty of the moment. Exactly. And But also at the same time, making it kind of artistic. Like I, nothing wrong with people like taking pictures of just like the room. And it's, it's like just to take a picture of the room. Yeah. I think that's totally fine. But for me, I really enjoy like messing with colors and all of the little lens filters yep. and and really just kind of maximizing the potential of what's in front of you. Like yeah. you yeah, see yeah. it with the, with your human eye, but okay, what else can you do with the camera eye, mm. right? Mm. I really like that angle. Yeah. of it. When when did that you camera start, angle? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what when did you get into using like the filters and start experimenting with like the practical effects and stuff? So that started um right so I had my little it was a Nikon D35 Hundred, so this is a DSLR. It's not like it was like a four hundred dollar camera, just the body. So it was like good starter camera, like really good camera to start with. And I, I, I kind of pushed that as far as I could. Um, but it's not like a standard camera for like external equipment and stuff like that. Right. So the the farthest I got was I had little like glass, um, uh, little glass like handle filters like a split diopter or the kaleidoscope so that I could hold in front of the camera but I couldn't attach anything to it and then I I just felt like I got to a point where I'm really maximizing this camera's potential and I wanted to switch to a full frame mirrorless mm-hmm. and that's when I bought my Z6 which is that camera and Hi. that You're doing it through this lens you right look now. high right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> that camera right? very tall <laughs> that camera allowed me to kind of really just exponentially like open up so many more doors, right? Like different types of lenses and standardized lens sizes um, mm-hmm. for filters and stuff like that. And it being a mirrorless, it's just a lot more versatile. It's quicker yeah. um, than a DSLR. Um, I have nothing wrong with DSLRs. I just, I'm enjoying the mirrorless a lot. But that camera kind of started all the new, um, like more practical effects. Right. Um, and I, I, I just personally enjoy doing that more than going in post and creating like things from there which yeah, again is cool. nothing wrong with yeah. that but like right. it's my angle i like capturing the light as it is and then just doing basic color correction stuff afterwards so to to put a bow on everything yeah it seemed like you were saying that like uh taking pictures photography is like outward like capturing someone else's moment and then doing like music and audio is maybe more of a self-expression thing oh do we have to fix the camera this is the reset yeah he's gotta keep, mm. keep it recording Cut that, cut that, cut Yeah, that, cut you that, have cut to, that. yeah. But the mirror okay. starts did creeping you, did in, you so you got to make it mirrorless. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, with music, it's it's a lot more internal. And to be it's fair, It's more I, self-expressive than outward. Yeah, and I haven't really done too much lately with music in terms of, like, creation. Mainly because, like, music for the last year has been my day job, basically. So there is kind of that sense of, like, okay, you go to work, you play your music, and then you go home. Mm-hmm you don't necessarily want to like pick it back up like for me. So that's what having photography has been really nice to still be artistic in a different medium. Right. Like, you know, I like, you know, working in the kitchen all day, the last thing you want to do is go home and keep cooking. Right. Like you're, you know, that sort of mindset, but, um, it is nice to just be able to sit down and just kind of play like just for myself and just kind of express again, a different medium, right. Having those two mediums is really nice Mm -hmm. to, um, have at my disposal, right? Mm-hmm. And it's nice to, if you're feeling a bit burnt out on one, you hop into the other, like any hobby that yeah, you have, yes. right? Like like with Nick, you're skateboarding lately. I was like, just like, about to say it's super important. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize how important it was until yeah. a, about a year ago when I got into skateboarding. It's yeah. Like you need a hobby separate from what you're trying. If you're, if you're trying to do something creative as a career, if you're a musician or an artist, a painter, whatever... Like you need something else that you can just like separate yourself from we'll and like, take your there's, mind off. Yeah, of yeah. There's no business to me going to the skate park and yeah. just having a good time. Yeah. There's no business to you know if you're like you're a musician full time. 
you can just go take photos and exactly. like enjoy taking yeah. photos. Just go on a walk, yeah. take pictures of flowers, right? It's, like that's it. Yeah, it's really good for your mental health. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So yeah, I, I that that's kind of like the two mediums for me. It's like it's just a nice balance between the two, and especially now with being an elephant king and getting back into the more creative and writing side of music rather than playing, you know sweet child of mine yeah five times a week <laughs> yeah yeah you it's, it's like, uh, we never tell michael what to play i i think i think i make suggestions like here and there or like uh things i did in like previous recordings or yeah I, do you um, ever use like another band sound as like oh can you do like a like you mentioned queens of the stone age can never. you do a queens of the stone age not thing really do, do it have i ever, i don't think i have you've I never really yeah. said anything like that but like Sometimes I don't know. It just come, ends up coming off that way. Yeah, I mean, like with your suggestions, it's always been like just how you wrote the music, and that's I fully yeah. respect. If you're like, yeah, yeah, can we play it like this? I'm like, yeah, of course, it's your song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's you know? still so early sta- stages yeah. of having a basis. Like, yeah. yeah, we haven't actually written a new song from scratch yeah. as a three piece yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah that is so, right. Okay, yeah. when you guys are writing your music, though. Is there what are the the influence? How how much of a role do influences play? Are you thinking I'm gonna write something here that sounds like Zeppelin? Never. Or nah, yeah, never. never. Yeah, yeah. It's all. It's you know. Sometimes it's like something will come in my head and I'll start developing it. I'm like, it reminds me a lot of of this or that. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, like um, with um, hide and seek. Uh, a very new one, which only we've performed once thus far. Yeah. Um, that one, I, I started developing it, and then the next day, I was like, "Oh, this reminds me of, um, you know, uh, the the Strokes or something like mm-hmm. that, like just that progression." Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I'm, "I'm just gonna keep going." You yeah, know what I mean? Like, because yeah, because I'm not gonna let that stop. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna let the comparisons because it doesn't yeah. sound that like mm, if I if I if I ended uh-huh. identified the song. People would be like, oh, I can see it, but it's different. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And yeah, by the time you're done mean. writing it, yeah. it sounds nothing like it. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's yeah. like probably a connection only you're going to make. Yeah. Exactly. But it's like, like yeah. you just, when you said it sounds like the strokes, I made that connection, right? It's mm-hmm. like that, exactly. Like, because I was always like, oh, this sound, I've heard, feel like, not I've heard this somewhere, yeah. but I've heard like these ideas, like I can tell yeah. that he's pulling from something or whatever, but. Yeah, that, that's funny. Sometimes, though, yeah. you will start with a riff or, or something, and I'll be like, yeah, it sounds like this mm. blank band or this song or whatever, mm. but we keep working on it, and because we make that connection, yeah. we're able to steer away from that connection. Yeah, from, like, mm. deriding too much from it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, short answer, never. We never really think about our influences. We mm. just, like, yeah. sit down in a room and play. Mm. But long answer, I mean... Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's more like what comes to mind. <laughs> Sorry, short answer, the short no, answer was short long answer. answer yeah. Yeah. yeah, the short yeah. answer was longer than the sh- than the long answer. <laughs> the, I did that on purpose. Yeah, I feel. Uh, I'm uh, glad you caught it. That's the magic elephant king. Um, yeah. It's I, I feel it's like the magic of feature fifty two. Excuse me. Yeah, ex- yeah, yeah. In addition to the magic of elephant king, which we bring to the magic of feature fifty two, which you can catch here yeah, on I, camera, mirrorless. I'm not in elephant king. Yeah. For F, for for everyone's FYI, the, for, for your FYI, yeah. for your for your <laughs> so Space Boy is, um, what are you? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> He's a boy from space. Ah, short answer, yes. Long answer. Can you put crickets in there? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I was thinking that as it was happening. I was, I was like, yeah. okay, cricket I, moment. I, I yeah. heard the crickets in yeah, my yeah. mind. The actual, like, I think the first recording actually we'll have you on, Mike, is the one, is the session we just did. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. our in next, front of the camera. Yeah. Because our next single, the for Burn It All Down, it's 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 a bass track I laid down like a long time ago. Or well, yeah. Like a, schedules a just didn't really let us yeah. get Michael in on that yeah. one. For but. for the EP, which we are hoping to release like early. Obviously, we haven't even like really mapped it out yet, but we're trying to get it out early next year. Mm-hmm. Um, it would it will be, you know, hopefully just Michael. all new material mm-hmm. with yeah. Mike on there and. You know, we all bring everything to the table, what we have, you know, to offer, you know. Yeah, everything after our, so we've got Burn It All Down coming out um, September 8th. Yep. And wow. Yeah. <laughs> I almost escaped me. Uh, yeah, Burn It All Down September 8th, which is an A, the, the A side is Burn It All Down. And we've got the B side, Work All Day, Drink All Night. Mm-hmm. And everything after that will have Michael. Yeah, yeah. This is the one exception yeah. to the record. Well, I mean, obviously we had the debut release in Lip Biter, but 
But yeah, I feel, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to writing more with you, Mike, because um, to like take myself out of what should the bass be doing here and just focus on the guitar. And you already do like a lot of melodic stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, that that stemmed from a lot of like inspiration from prog rock, like yeah. Russian Yes, like yeah. Geddy Lee, Chris Squire, like those two are monsters like being a a bass guitar player right yeah. my dad would always say like a bass guitar player rather than a bass player yeah right? yeah, like yeah. kind of uh, you're doing two-part harmony with the guitar yeah like yeah like a lot more um or like yeah it's a helicopter yeah, yeah it's a yeah. helicopter outside <laughs> <That's>, um, <laughs> like, we uh, completely took it off the rails we're there. near the Cheyenne <laughs> airport for people who the, would like to know North that. Las Vegas you could beat that out yeah. <laughs> we're near <laughs> that's a good helicopter but yeah, yeah. like the the writing pro- yeah i'm gonna be very excited for that too because yeah. it it it's, it's gonna be nice um again just for me at least just riffing ideas with people again yeah yeah it's something i haven't done since college like uh in the original band that i was in then but like yeah. the band that i'm in right now like besides elephant king um we just it's just a play covers and like clock in clock out sort of thing right now yeah. so It'll be nice. It'll yeah. be really nice. Yeah, it's um, been a while since we wrote anything Chemical Chicken. Yeah, that we got to get back on to <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah, we're, we're coming up with Chemical Chicken song names left and right. Yes, the, oh, the, my God. Of, yeah. of the amount of song names I have on the list, probably like 5% of them are real songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So far. <laughs> yes, yeah. as yeah. of now. I, I feel like, I mean, you've had creative liberty on a lot of the songs that we already had. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, it's I, different when you're writing, but it, it's yeah. different. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah exactly. I feel like yeah. with this, with these songs now, it's like I try and just add like a little flavor, you yeah. know, just kind of yeah. more than I, my philosophy is just like, like anyone can play at least with bass, right? Anyone can play the roots and yeah. the fifths, right? But there's a little more nuance to it than that, and I think yeah. there should be, right? Like it's, I think that's what really separates a lot of. Um, I guess levels of bass players, if you want to think of it like that, Absolutely. right? Like you can have a guy who will come in and play exactly what you tell him to play, yeah, yeah. Um, or you can have a guy come in and he'll just like noodle all over everything. But I yeah. think there's a fine balance in between. Absolutely. It does yeah. require having that compositional mind sometimes too, yeah. because you got to know what your part is. Mm-hmm. But and but you also have to be a good enough musician on your instrument to be able to hold you know hold down your part. Yeah, absolutely. And I think with a trio, there's a lot of yeah. room to breathe, like for yeah. all three of us, right? Yeah. Like. Like to riff here and there, do fills here and there, but you know, I think just to be stagnant and play, you know, roots like yeah. the whole song. I think that j- I wouldn't be adding anything rather than just a low yeah. frequency. Yeah, you know? like that's someone who's concerned with the bass part only and not with the composition of the actual full song. Exactly. Like yeah. Context of what the bass part is. I think yeah. with Elephant King, that's exactly what we need. Yeah. No, absolutely. I was just gonna say that. Yeah, because yeah. because there's not like. I uh, when when I'm writing some of the thus far that when I've written some of the songs it's like I've got ten guitars in mind you know what I mean yeah. and obviously we don't have ten guitar players in the band so <laughs> like you know what I mean and there is a lot of room like you know for you to do stuff like that and mm-hmm. I like it's it'll be nice to like not have to think that way you know what I mean yeah, yeah. 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 can yeah. you can you play more than one guitar at a time uh, <laughs> if you're like Michelangelo if you, get, you can get some crazy <laughs> tuning going yeah you yeah, probably how, could how are we doing on time here we're, we're good yeah we, good. we got some time All how right, yeah. how are we doing on working on playing more than one guitar at once <laughs> how's the, where, uh, what's the science on that yeah uh, the extra arm is still growing Shit. Mm, okay. yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't even see it. Yet. I've been trying to water. <laughs> yeah, that I don't think thing. it's gonna be yeah. ready for tour. I think. Yeah, we got. I, I, I was trying to water. I got twelve inches yeah. coming out of my waist, but it's not quite enough to use. <laughs> yeah, we gotta. Yeah. So I think Whoa. we have to adjust the pH level of the water that we're yeah. we're using. It, yeah. You know I mean? yeah. 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 So, uh, all right. What what uh, advice does Elephant King have for upcoming musicians? Oh, you know oh, that's wow. funny. I was thinking Are you about still on our questions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, who gave on. me the list? Wait, what? Who gave him that <laughs> list? We're not supposed to. Hold on. There's no list, guys. That the ruins the magic. There's no list of Feature Fifty Two. <laughs> <laughs> that was so intense. <laughs> I just there is a list. You guys can see it. It'll be right here. Ed, yeah. Advice. Are you in the frame, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Ed, Sick. That. If you can Fish see islands. the if you can see like the front of it, Fish you're islands. in the frame. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Fish islands. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Fish islands. Um there was a <laughs> there was a question there. 
Yeah. What advice, advice advice for or, uh, for future bands? People, people who want to write music or people who need to find a bass player or people <laughs> <laughs> is yeah. no Michael? Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't picky. call me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you're looking for a yeah. bandmate, be picky. Yeah, mm. it's like dating someone, man. Like, it's it's yeah. okay yeah. to say no to people. Yeah, it's not like no one's gonna be mad yeah. at you, and if they are, then they're definitely not the one that you want in yeah. your band anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was um um I don't know uh, you can extrapolate in that more. Yeah, I was I was just just gonna say like it it's it's okay it's like dating yeah. you can go on a date maybe have one or two yeah. dates yeah it's, and be like you know what i don't think you're the right person yeah. let's be friends or let's never talk again yeah let's, you know whatever yeah. like you can stop mm-hmm. you can there's so many different forks in the mm-hmm. road yeah. that you can go after a second or third date the in in a band uh, or rather with musicians uh I, com- comparative to dating it's like jamming with other musicians like you're just hooking up with them, you know yeah. what I mean. But if you're getting serious, if you're making some children. Yeah, we better that, see a ring. That's a yeah. that's a band. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean. You guys better be giving Michael a ring. Here we can soon. get we can get like three a doorbell? elephant king. Yeah, rings. doorbell. Yeah, yeah. the ring. That'd doorbell. be sick. Yeah. Three elephant king promise ring. Three kings for three <laughs> elephants. Yeah, 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 yeah. We promise we'll have you on the next record. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we will. We will. We will. Yeah, I mean, I, like uh, to go off of that like with you know it's okay to tell people no like it's not it's it's not gonna work right like you're probably doing them a favor too in the long run yeah because at the same time you're not gonna waste their time mm-hmm. yeah if you feel if you're feeling that instinct like i don't know and same like, goes for like someone in your position we wanted you to play bass when we first started elephant king but mm-hmm. you were like no guys sorry i just yeah. i can't do it right now yeah mm-hmm. that's, that's we weren't mad yeah. like we're not gonna fucking hold that against you yeah and I think if you're, especially if you're a drummer, I feel like drummers are in high demand always. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's always looking for a drummer. Yeah. I feel like bassists are might be second to to that, but I feel Probably. like everyone needs a drummer. Yeah. I'm getting. I get asked to join groups left and left right, and right yeah. all the time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it, for a long time, it was really hard for me to just be like, sorry, I can't. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't want to waste their the time yes guy, as much as yourself, but, right? Like, yeah. you have to be sort of selfish to be selfless at the same time, yeah. right? Like, because if you say yes to everything, you're like, yeah, I'm part of this and that, but you're going to deteriorate right. like their yeah. ne- dependency quality. on you and, and stuff like that. And the quality of the things that you're making if you're Absolutely. not actually present. Yeah. yeah. But any advice for people writing music who want to write music that sounds l- just like Elephant King? I, <laughs> just like Elephant King. First, you have to listen to everything that we listen to, which I don't. I can't even make that list. Yeah. Um, we're but, about to. We're about to make that list when we go on tour and we're stuck in a car for ten yeah, hours. Together. Yeah. Well, I was joking with Nick uh, a couple weeks ago that I'm going to add the first four Kings of Leon records to the, the, the tour playlist. <laughs> um, but it's not just. Um, it's not just Kings of Leon. Elephant Kings of Leon. Elephant Kings of Leon. Yeah, they 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 took the name from us actually. Um, we were we were, um, we were Leon Kings first. <laughs> um, well, you start by playing a uh, a, a jazz master. Oh oh, a PV. What, what is it? Uh, jazz fusion. Jazz fusion. Yeah, a PV a PVJF one EX. Yeah, they don't make them anymore. Is yeah, this yeah. a guitar? Th- that's the guitar I play. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a PVJF one EX. It's like a. They don't make them anymore. They yeah. PV does not make those guitars anymore. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. smash it. No, <laughs> but, no, no, no. But I no. always, I always joke that the JF it's stands for roll. the the JF stands for. <laughs> Bez. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. did we just get a name reveal? Oh. Debut. <laughs> my real name is. No. No. It's not. Uh, no. I'm sorry. This my legal is name is. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. My real name is. Yeah, we can beep it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll beep. I'll beep that the shit out. It, of that. It's, it's no secret. Like le- yeah. l- when you go to like our our releases on Spotify, you look at the credits. It has. It says. Yeah, I'm gonna beep. I'm gonna bleep it again there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I kind of have a to go back to your question. Yeah. The complete opposite of the last two minutes of what we've been talking. about. <laughs> Don't try and be like anyone else. Yeah, like, I think yeah. that is like the worst. Uh, pitfall you can get yourself yeah, into absolutely. Mm-hmm. like i want to be the next blank i want to be the next blank like you are already setting yourself up to be less of what you could be yeah right like you want to create music for you and like just make shit that you enjoy right and people will follow along like if it if they enjoy it i don't know that, yeah, that's, I, yeah. I guess another way of putting that is like you that you have your own way of doing that too because you can 
It's like a, you got to define what trying to be like someone else is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can. Yeah. You obviously need to do your homework and like mm. like you're never gonna be a killing like a, a you know jazz saxophone player unless you like learn what John Coltrane did. Of course, like, yeah. But don't know, say like yeah, I'm gonna be the next John Coltrane. Yeah, yeah, or like just stick to only playing what he played. That's yeah, what, that's what the like yeah. you have this, to you have to put your own stamp on something. Yeah, your your identity is your own, and it shouldn't be anyone else. Like, oh, what do you do? Oh, I'm trying to be like you know the Killers. You know, like mm. yeah, that, like to me, yeah. that's like mm, I don't I know. Feel like it? Yeah, it's important to give that advice, but it is something that kind of happens naturally when yeah. like. The longer that you are a musician, the more you develop a self a sense of self identity. Yeah, I think that is really important. Uh, like yeah, having your own voice and being unique. But I I also find that a lot of people in the the music scene in Vegas need to do more homework. They need I to, agree. They need yeah. to do more practicing and and uh, you know yeah. like shedding and figuring out what it is about their favorite artists. Like, yeah, that, like yeah, who, of course. Who are you calling out? <laughs> uh, there's this really <laughs> shit band Elephant King. <laughs> there, um, I uh, my piece of advice I think um, would be um, don't let um, sounding like something I guess stop you from. You know, continue like the way I write is I like to get an exact like like map out the entire structure, like and typically that is like intro, verse, chorus, maybe some instrumental mm -hmm. verse, chorus, you know, big ending, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. There's a formula, right? Mm -hmm. um, but like, don't let something like you know you can put something in as a placeholder, be like, I'll come back to this later, mm -hmm. or like for me, it's easy to see what the song is if it's all laid out mm -hmm. you know like recording like like using uh like a software to record yourself mm -hmm. or just like your phone like voice memo whatever um like you know use whatever tools you have to to take it to the next step mm -hmm. you know and and don't let like don't play a riff or something like that and be like this sounds too much like this you know and then just leave the riff you mm -hmm. know what i mean like Record it, come back to it, like like sleep on it. You know what I mean. That is good advice. Yeah. Like uh, try to make as many things yeah. to completion. Yeah, and don't. Yeah, and and don't hold yourself to to. Be, and Nick knows this firsthand with me because um, I'm like never happy with anything I play. <laughs> you know what I mean? True. And I'm, yeah, and I'm just like, look, it, it. No one's gonna. No one's gonna fucking know mm -hmm. if I could have played better or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, obviously, if it's obvious, it's obvious. But you know, whatever. Like, it's not. There's yeah, okay. there's 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 a level of impossibly perfect that you will never be able to reach. You know what I mean? And as long as, like, you... Uh, I, I feel like as long as you bring, like, 80 or 90%, like, you know, you could... As long as you try your best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know even I mean? the people you think that are at that level yeah. are not at They're that gonna level. They're going to say the same things, yeah. like, oh, that yeah. could have been so much better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, mm -hmm. you think X and Y are, like, they're perfect. They're the perfect musicians. Yeah. Like, they're probably not. You know, they yeah. probably have the same mistakes that you make still. Like, yeah. you know, we're all human, right? And... Same with with the writing, like quali quantity over quality, right? Like make yeah. shit at least in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, but like write stuff that you're not necessarily going to release. Just yeah. make a song and yeah, keep the tool sharp. Put it away, right? Yeah. Like you don't yeah. have to release everything you write, but just keep writing and yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sharpen the like tools. Muscle, you got to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We have songs. Nick and I have songs from uh, like our first band that uh, or or songs that we just started on our own and have both worked on that are, might not be Elephant King songs. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. They'll just, they're just going to exist. But they're songs you wrote. Yeah. And, yeah. It's and, like and it was still your, part of you. Part of your journey yeah. and learning how to write songs. Yeah. yeah. And like, like some of the muscles we flexed when we were like writing those things, like our muscles we flexed in Elephant King stuff. Mm. Yeah. You know but, what I mean? Yeah. Oh, like you, you have, um, there, there's a song called, uh, Girl on Fire. Yeah. That we played with our previous band. Yeah. And Fez texted me the other day. He said, Hey, uh, well, actually, a couple weeks ago, he he asked me if we should add that to an Elephant King song uh, or Elephant King track list. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I make was it. like, yeah. I was like, eh, maybe. Yeah. I, I don't know how well I'm feeling it. And then a couple days ago, he asked if um, he could use it with Elevated Undergrounds, and I was like, I'm totally cool with that. Yeah. Because it's well, first off. I do the production for Elevated Underground, yeah. so I'm still a part of it. Like, <laughs> yeah. whether or not yeah, it's yeah. an Elephant King song. Um, 
I don't, I don't know where I was going. Well, though, but yeah, it's the moral just like, is like you, you might write something right now that you think, uh, and then exactly. get on the line yeah, and be yeah. like, oh, this is actually like. Thank you. That's yeah. where I was headed with yeah. it. Yeah. 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 You don't see like that progress with your favorite bands, mm. right? Like yeah. the, on that example, there's like a, a Muse, uh, uh, like a live record that Muse did. They played, uh, they did like a little jam of like a, uh, like a 2006 live show. And then 2015, they turned that into an actual song. Right, and it was mm-hmm. one of like the yeah. poster boy songs of that record, mm. right? And um, I also wanted to say something else. Another like band example of not seeing the process, right? Like yeah. um, Dave Matthews Band, their first record has a song called Number Thirty Four, yeah, and that's the thirty oh, yeah. fourth song they've written, yeah. on their first album, yeah. yeah. Like you don't see that progress. People just see a first record, and they're like, Th- "Those are the first twelve songs they wrote mm. as a band." Yeah, yeah. that's no. not necessarily the case, you yeah, know. That's so most of the time, not the case. Yeah, mm-hmm. so yeah. like it's hard. It's really easy to just think that and when you sit down and write you're like this has to be my first album it's got to be as good as this yeah. band or mm-hmm. this band right like it's it's i think it's just really no, important it's, it's to, a workout it's yeah, yeah disconnect that kind of idolization of your favorite artists yeah while still you know pulling inspiration and stuff like that but don't think that they're as perfect as yeah. you think mm-hmm. they are right yeah on on that note it it's it's for for me personally it's hard to like look at artists and be like they're just normal people Mm -hmm. but like we we've gotten to the point um like you know people come up to us after our shows and like you know that like we're like we're in a different scene just people that haven't seen us before and they're like complimenting us and stuff like that and i'm like dude i'm just a normal guy like i mean i'm like they're you know give me all this praise and i'm like you know i could have done better but then i'm like you know what what it doesn't matter you know what i mean that's exactly what all the pros yeah through Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 But it's like I remember um, somebody came up to me and he was like, he's like, oh, dude, uh, I met you before. And I was I, I forgot his name or, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But he was like, I'm a huge fan. I'm like, someone's a huge fan of me. Like, I'm just I'm no one. You dude, know what I mean? OK, yeah. can I tell a story? One time I was in the Starbucks drive through and uh, there was a guy in front of me and he was out the window. He got his drink and then he he like pulled out and I went up to the window and he stopped. And then, like, stuck his whole head out the window and went, Space Boy! No, <laughs> no idea way. who this guy was. Not For the real? famous no idea who this way. person was. That's awesome. Yo. Yeah. That's sick. I was yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You never know sure. who's paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's a crazy That was story. a while ago, yeah. too. Yeah. This, was, this was fun. I mean, we're kind of at the wrapping up point, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah. We, should, we should do, like, a sidebar, like, control room. Control, yeah, yeah, yeah just control like, room just sessions. Yeah, crew, yeah. What if we did like a monthly out. just crew podcast? Yeah, that would I, be yeah. Awesome. I like this like round table. There's a round table. Yeah, yeah there, there is a round the table. Nights. This, yeah. this feels very conducive. We can do it the in the night or the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can like <laughs> have a chalice. Thought, let's not go to Camelot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a silly place. <laughs> yeah, it's a silly. Place. It's only a model. Unfortunately, we can't keep this one going for as long as we want because we got another session and podcast to record after this. Part two, electric boogaloo. Ooh, baby, baby for yeah. the day yeah yeah that'll probably soon. that should be next week uh if we follow schedule um, yeah part we're, two in the lecture next week and release back on schedule. after elephant yeah so if you're watching oh. this in a week they'll be they'll be th- yeah if you're them. watching this on release <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah that goes without saying yeah but, yeah, yeah. yeah but also catch uh elephant king us at uh the bull house for the september uh, 30th, oh man, it's going to be our home, one of our homecoming shows for, cause we're going on tour. You yeah, know we, we should definitely <laughs> plug that we're playing a badass kickoff show, tour kickoff show. There you go. At Taverna Costera. September 14. September 14. Wednesday night. Yeah, th- this will be out. Yeah. 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 I will I, be jet lagged as fuck, so yeah. come check it out. Come yeah. check out my, yeah, pay $10 pre, uh, buy pre, Michael some shots. Yeah, buy, yeah. buy Michael a shot, t- pay $10 and see him jet, la- jet lagged or pay $15 at the door. I think that's what we're going with. If not, bleep this out. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it's ten ten dollars pre sale, fifteen at the door. That yeah, seems yeah. Pretty and Michael standard. will be jet lagged. He yeah, free, regardless of pre sale yeah. or door. They only give him one meal on that ten hour <laughs> flight, so you better they also give buy him that's one true. meal the entire one time meal. He's in Europe. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> Slim yeah. Pickens out there. No yeah. wonder this whole thing. One meal on the flight, but free alcohol on the flight. <laughs> one so. meal in the portion Check sizes. Are yeah, tiny. <laughs> <laughs> they're small as a large. Yeah, yeah. yeah so wh- whatever. So yeah. Please come out to that Taverna Castera show because we we need. Um, to kick off our tour with a good with a head bang start. Yeah. on a Wednesday night, baby. And if you can't make that show for whatever reason, come to the September. homecoming show Woo-woo. September thirtieth, which is going to be yeah the feature fifty two mm-hmm. showcase. We have part two electric boogaloo. We got Hunter's briefcase. We got 
a fourth band. Chefs. 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 Oh, we, you're, you're oh, doing you're, a two for that. Yeah, night. Nick yeah. is doing a two for that. Yeah. Night. And then the day after, we're also doing another head co- uh, show. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're doing the 21 and up homecoming yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you want a drink, I mean, you can you can drink at Bull House, but you could yeah. you could also pay for a drink at the Stakeout Bar. Stakeout and Bar and Grill. Check us out there. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lineup for that soon. Yeah, yes, it's, it's there cool are spot. no drinks for sale at Bull House. Yeah. Please do not call the cops. Yeah, yeah. BYOB yeah. is not our responsibility. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. and bring- it's water only. <laughs> <laughs> don't bring like a Gatorade. BYOW. Don't, don't, don't bring like a high C um, or like a... No electrolytes. Power. Yeah, no electrolytes. Yeah. Is this going up before... This should be up before uh, Burn It All Down comes out. So September 8th. Yes, uh, September yeah, 8th release date. Yeah. Comes and out. Yeah. Please stream that. Pre, uh, pre-save it if it's not out yet. Yeah. Uh, stream it if it is out. Follow and us on Instagram uh, because we're going to be on tour for a couple weeks and we're going to be posting constantly. Yeah, we got a lot of good stuff yeah. coming. Yeah. Think about yeah. questions you want us to answer and send them to us and then... Uh, we might answer them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys should do an on the road podcast. I was Yo, thinking yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just while you're driving or some shit. Yeah, yeah. we're definitely gonna have a tour diaries video compilation yeah. and shit like that. Yeah, um, yeah, we got a lot of ideas for for the social medias and yeah. whatnot. But um, and I'll be in Vegas kicking my feet up. Yeah, I'm not worried about feature fifty two at all. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be taking mode. a feature fifty two break. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I might be still reaching out to artists. Well, yeah, I'm still gonna yeah. be editing. Yeah, no, I'm gonna <laughs> be <Yeah>. mixing too. <laughs> <laughs> like none of us are actually taking a break. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're taking a break yeah, from filming. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're taking a break from filming, but we're gonna be on the road work. It's a workation. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're basically gonna be whoever's not driving is gonna be working on some other project. Yeah, because we're all so busy. Oh, yeah. I think we have like a minute left on the camera. Camera. All right. Um, yeah. Call your parents. Yeah. Call, call, call yeah. Your parents. Call your mom. Call your dad. Yeah. See how they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Make yeah. sure they're all right. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. love you. Yeah. They do. Gooby. Yeah. It, whoa. Gooby. Is that really the end? <laughs> Is that really it? Why not? Hey, all right. It doesn't yeah. have to be. Uh, uh, I, I had nothing else to say. Do we have to sign the mannequin? Oh, yeah, we oh, do have to yeah. sign the mannequin. Let's move over to the, the thing. Okay, I'll, I'll keep narrating. Let's drag our entire setup right I'll now. I'll keep narrating. It's all good. I'm going to... I wonder if they're here. Has it, have they messaged us? No. Okay. All right. We're all getting uh, uh, out of the way. We're trying to make our way through here. <laughs> all right. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Undo the gooby. <laughs> no, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not... I'm not undoing anything. Undo your I got, I got this belt. Microphone here with a long. Oh, wait, are we still All right. yeah, Michael's are, getting are, his camera that. set let's up. Go, let's go sign, sign the, uh, the mannequin, guys. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Did you mean to do that? What the fuck is up? Case. Oh man. We can. Uh, cut Michael's this got an odd low uh, off offload. All right, mobile. All right, yeah, we're let's hope this sign. cable reaches to the other to the live room. Um, yeah, mine definitely won't. So I'm going to be narrating from in here. <laughs> the room that right. we normally record. They're the leaving the room, in is and right I'm, nar- here, but I'm we were too lazy to tear everything down because we're filming another session. I'm right narrating, after this, and, and I can um, no longer the see them. Mike Fun did reach, um, so uh, I'm narrating yeah, over uh, got, Nick's narrating. Where the fuck is the <laughs> sharpie? Because we need a sharpie. I can it's no longer see them. Right there looking for a Sharpie. Fez is back. Fez is back in the room. We're both narrating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been I've been narrating over your narrating. Um Oh there okay, yeah, there we go. There you are. We're back in the, the control room here and I'm still narrating, even though I can't see the mannequin that they're about to sign. Stories? Stories? Oh shit. Space boy. Yes. Space boy, can you get a story oh, oh, post? Yeah. Yeah, I can stop narrating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should. We we can uh we can get a, a good story post of of us signing the our own mannequin. This is awesome. This is like a mobile podcast. We should we should do some should some mobile podcast. Yeah. Driving down the freeway 100 miles per hour. Hey, what are you? I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> We uh oh yeah where's the sharpie? You go you go first. Nah you go first. Three sharpies we could all sign it at the same time. I 
Heck yeah. Absolutely riveting. Oh, you you started adding a line through the through the E and the Z. Or have you always done that? Uh, I've always done that. <laughs> Baz. Baz. Um, uh, here, you take the... <clears throat> For the audio listeners, I'm speaking into the Audio Technica. Um, what? We're waiting on uh, Space Boy to take a Instagram story because we were filming this whole time, so we didn't get any. Yeah, are we good? All right. Sure. All right. He is. Uh, I signed on the 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 right quad there. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Michael. Yeah. What's going on? Feature two, baby. Get fucked up. Drink a lot of alcohol. <laughs> Feature fifty two wants you to drink responsibly. Um. Please do not uh, drive. Take yeah, a, yeah, don't drive after. Well, or, or I mean, in general, like you know, take a take a take a bus, take some like economic. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Michael. Should we get like an Elephant King next to it? Yeah, I'm the worst at drawings. Yeah, next to it. You want it? Uh, you, you can go for it. You go for it. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Why do you put it so far away from our signatures? <laughs> oh, I see. I see. I see. I shouldn't have critiqued. L F Fantakin G. Do a little circle. Let's group them all together. I got you. I got you. I got. I got you. I got you. Starts and I go, Sighting. There we go. It's Africa. <laughs> All right. That I guess that was the very first uh, monthly uh, control room session. The control room uh, podcast. I mean. Part two will be five minutes. Future fifty-two, baby. Gooby. 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 <laughs> <laughs>